And if you know anything about the way a charging system works on a small engine, I'm going to give you the fast, quick rundown. Typically, you have a stator, which is underneath the magneto. And the stator itself is a bunch of windings that are fixed. And the magneto is usually the magnets that are affixed to the flywheel. And as they pass, the field created around there produces AC voltage. At a higher RPM, typically what you will see is about 25 to 28 volts AC that comes out of there. What happens is when it leaves there, it's usually two wires and they go into a voltage regulator rectifier. Now what happens is the rectifier is what changes the AC volts to DC volts. Usually there's a drop in voltage during the change. That's why it puts out in about 26 and you usually get about half of that coming out with the charging volts at 13. And then that's where the regulator side comes into the rectifier regulator built in together is because that is what regulates the voltage that actually comes out, which is usually your nice clean 13 volts that charges your battery circuit. I think a squirrel just fell on the roof. Yep, now he's on my belly.